my only question is, what are we having for lunch or for dinner? Stuffed we, peppers. Yeah, we're making stoplight stuffed peppers. So red, yellow, green. Ah, there you go. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to our show. I'm Spencer. And I'm Christy. And today's destination brings us to the heart of my hometown in Harford County, Maryland. Just about an hour north of Baltimore where something amazing happens every fall season. So a local farmer plants these beautiful sunflower fields for the entire community to come enjoy and celebrate and it is just such an amazing sight. Yeah, it's a pretty cool spectacle as you're driving through town. There's just acres of sunflowers as you drive by and they also offer like hay rides and cut flowers that you can buy and a lot of people just come through and take family photos and that kind of thing. And it's really just a cool thing to bring the community together. So today we're out here enjoying the fields and we are going to make stoplight stuffed peppers. So let's go fire up the Blackstone. Welcome back to Destination Delicious. Throughout our travels across the U.S., we have absolutely fallen in love with small town America. And it's things like these sunflower fields that really bring character and charm to each little town that we go to. So in honor of small town America, our- And my one stoplight town. <laughs> our meal today was kind of inspired by that. So that's where we get stoplight stuffed peppers from. And the first thing that we need to do is get our ground beef on the griddle and get that brown. As always, we're cooking on our Blackstone 22 inch griddle and while our meat is browning, I'm gonna go ahead and seize it with some of Blackstone's essential blend. To get our pepper stuffing prepared, I am going to mince up some garlic cloves already pre-peeled. I forgot the big knife apparently, again. Shocker. But Spencer taught me this really cool trick. You don't have to do it because they're already peeled. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna add these right to our ground beef. Now I'm going to cut up half of our onion. I don't wanna jinx us, but I have to say, for every time I hear, you know, onions make you cry and like get your eyes watering, we've had a pretty good success rate with cutting up our onions. I think it's probably because we it? cook outside. <laughs> Maybe, it, that might be it, which I'm not complaining about. We have natural ventilation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cut up some red, green, and yellow peppers to put into our stuffing. While fall is definitely on the horizon, I will say one thing we are not used to anymore is the humidity from the East Coast. Yeah. <laughs> it is it's hot out here. No joke. Up next, I'm gonna prep our peppers that are actually gonna get put down on the griddle to get them a little bit roasted, and then we will get them stuffed. If you've made stuffed peppers before, you've probably baked them in an oven, but since we are cooking on a griddle, we're gonna pre-cook our peppers on the griddle to roast them and soften them up a little bit before we stuff them. Now we're gonna get our rice down. We are gonna cook it separately first and then add it to our ground beef mixture. The rice isn't gonna to take too long. We really just need to heat it up. Next, we're gonna add some sharp shredded white cheddar to our ground beef mixture. Everything smells delicious. It's ready to go. We are going to now stuff our peppers. Okay, next we're gonna just do a little bit of salt and pepper right on the top. And then add a little bit more of that shredded white cheddar. It should melt nicely. 
<laughs> and for the finale, we are gonna drizzle just a bit of this sweet chili sauce. Stuffed peppers have definitely been a family favorite meal of ours for many, many years. Yeah, so I know these, these are gonna taste phenomenal, but they also look fantastic. Yeah, this is the first time we've actually done like the uh, stoplight color variety for the finished product and it turned out pretty cool. Yeah. I love this meal. It is such a good meal and it's healthy. Yeah, it's very good. Like, and the good sweet Thai you. chili sauce just brings a little bit of sweet and heat on top of everything else. The mixture of beef and peppers is so good. It also makes a lot. So like if you have a big family or you're at the campsite, like this is a great meal that you can easily cook for a lot of people. Thank you all for watching. We always appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you check out blackstoneproducts.com for everything Blackstone. Be sure to ring the bell so you don't miss any of the awesome meals from Nate, CJ, Bruce, Betty, Todd, and of course us. And until next time, this is Destination Delicious, and we will see you down the road. Look at you. You're all grown up. <laughs>